The RAS gene was first discovered as a viral oncogene, delivered to normal cells by a virus and causing them to become cancerous. Only after its cancer-causing properties were pretty well known, was this gene, this RAS gene, shown to be a normal gene in the human genome, and as, as well in other animal genomes. In its normal context, the RAS gene is active at appropriate times, placing the protein in the appropriate target cell membranes. But when active in a virus-infected cell, the gene produces abnormal amounts of the RAS protein at times when it shouldn't be there, causing the cells that should not be dividing to start doing so. In other words, cells bypass normal controls on RAS function and maintain RAS GTP at abnormally high levels. One final note. Under normal circumstances, excess RAS activity is controlled by the protein MKP1, which just stands for MAP kinase phosphatase 1. We've already seen the role of a phosphatase in mitigating or terminating a hormone response. This is a gene that is activated as part of a normal mitogenic response simply to prevent runaway cell divisions. An active oncogene, however, would exceed the cell's capacity to dephosphorylate mitogenic kinases, and that's why cancers develop.